Volunteer Hospital staff. On September 30th, 2008, our only son, Paul William Pencala, was a passenger in a car crash. The injuries he sustained were life-threatening, and he was life-flighted to the nearest trauma center in Danville, Pennsylvania. After three days in the PICU, he was declared brain dead, and at that time, our family made the decision to donate his organs. During that three-day period, we never realized how much the hospital staff had done for us. We were in the middle of a family's worst nightmare as Paul teetered between life and death, and without your compassion and dedication, this surreal experience could have actually been worse. As we reflect on those events, we know that Paul's chances were extremely slim. Knowing the odds of his survival, you exhausted every effort to keep him here with us. And we know that Paul was given the highest quality care possible. We distinctly remember how kind the staff was when in his room. They spoke to him as if he were an old friend. It was a comfort to our family to see this interaction. These things will never be forgotten. We fought together, side by side, family, friends, staff, and our hero Paul. We clung to the one in a million chance until his 16-year-old body took its last breath. Paul left his legacy in his spirit and in the five people that his organs helped to save. Paul was an ambitious individual with aspirations of being a history teacher and also teaching people about the Bible. He loved history, tattoos, music, and righting the wrongs that he encountered. Paul would have turned 17 on October 6, 2008, and the sky was the limit for this usually quiet young man. We need to say that you all make a difference, and in so many different ways, some not as obvious as you think. never thank you enough for what you did during those three days.